have to say that my favorite thing about being a boarder would have to be the sense of community that you feel on campus. Everyone's in there to give you the best experience that you can have. The sense of camaraderie is just, it's unbelievable. <laughs> the kids get to know one another and you get to know the adults um, who are part of the residential life team in a way that I think is very different from a typical high school experience. Everybody's really nice here and very chill because since we all live together, everybody just gets along so well. The real benefit to a boarding program of our size is that I think we get to know each and every one of those kids extremely well. That experience is really akin to being part of a large family. Dorm life is kind of new to me. It's the first time I'm living in the school. Everyone just very kind. You're living with these people all the time. So you get to make like really good friends. It's definitely entertaining. It's just it's just great. They're like my sisters. You missed that. I know. I know. I know. Oh, right. <laughs> I'm a math teacher here at the senior school, Shadeside Academy Senior School. And I also am a dorm parent, Croft Dorm for the boys, and I am the director of student activities. I came from a small family and I really enjoy that I have around 30 girls who are living in my house with me. I like to bake them cookies. I like to be there if they need any advice. I like to share my children and my dog with them and just being a sense of support. So you really start to get to know the kids, not necessarily because you teach them or because you see them on the sports field or whatever, but just because we're in this, we're living together, we're in the same community. What are you doing? You have to do six minus negative two, which is six plus two, right? One of the great advantages of being part of the boarding community is that you're surrounded by teachers. I have a Latin teacher on my hall. I have two math teachers that are always there to help me. Having all these teachers around, we have math teachers, history teachers, health teachers, English teachers. Um, any of them can help you with your work. There's always math tutoring sessions. You don't become part of a residential program unless you like kids and you want to work with them um, in lots of different contexts. You just get to know them on a different level than you might if you just had them in class. And we could always like alternate Wednesdays during the, the yeah, winter, I mean, like we change it up and then... It's such a great chance for educating but also just like I, I just having them feel comfortable and, and more confident to talk or learn or think. On Monday and Wednesdays, come 6.15, we have a community dinner. We all get together and eat together. Hey guys, welcome to formal dinner. They appreciate the opportunity to connect with one another and with adults in a way that where they're not being evaluated and, and really getting to know us and, and getting to know our families. What we find is that that becomes a kind of a highlight of the week for many of our kids. It is, it is Oliver and Riley's birthdays. <laughs> Shady Side kids are highly motivated, they want to do well. Our program is, is fairly structured, but that structure is one of the ways in which they're able to meet their own goals academically. Okay, cool. So, the body paragraphs look good. The girls work really hard in the dorm. They either, whether they go off to study hours um, as an underclassman over at Rowe, um, or if they're an upperclassman and they stay in their room, it's very quiet. They know that those two hours are set aside for them to do their work, and they buckle down and do it. It's a really great opportunity because some of the other boarders are in your classes. So you, if you have a question on homework, you can kind of work through it together. I, I know whenever I was a freshman and a sophomore, we would all go over to study hours at the same time, and it's like, okay, 7.45, let's go. There's a lot of help as well, like everyone else is studying or if someone comes in to ask for help and you know that, say, someone down the hall is really good at math, then it's a really easy process to like go and see them. How high is this bouncing? <laughs> when I'm doing my homework, someone just call me, hey Johnny, can you help me with this problem? And, just, and I'm really happy to help them, just make more friends. 
It helps me not be distracted by other things because I have two hours that I have to be doing my homework, so I get it done. A lot of the kids are going to want to get their work done when everyone else is doing the work so that when people are hanging out, they can also hang out. So our boarders have the opportunity to enjoy the campus at all hours of the day. <laughs> Got the Carter! We have like the whole campus to ourselves pretty much, which is cool. <laughs> this year I actually started a um, residential club for the dorms. It is open studio. And we also have my favorite, dorm feeds, which are you just go and the prefects will buy food for everyone and you just eat everything. Then on Tuesday, we have Tuesday night football. And Wednesday, it's the same thing, but with soccer. It's really fun. Shadyside Senior School campus is located 20 minutes from downtown Pittsburgh. So we have tremendous resources very close by. Depending on what kids want to do, we can actually make that happen with relative ease. I like everything about the dorms, actually. I really love living here. I feel much more productive whenever I do my work here. Boarding is just, it's so much fun. There's so many resources that you have access to, and you really go through it together. The school gives you a lot of responsibility academically. They're not here to make it hard for you. They're here to help you and give you their resources so you, that you can succeed. I feel like I became more used to living away from home, so I feel a lot more prepared for college because of that. Our program allows for kids to experience more independence, more responsibility as they get older, so that once they reach the college experience, managing themselves is sort of the least of their worries. It can be incredibly transformative for a lot of kids. You learn how to self-advocate, you have to know how to communicate, you have to be able to connect with other people that may not be similar to you and it's just really fun to be a part of, of watching the growth and transformation that happens in young people.